Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Hagez. In this video I will show you how to make a pressure vessel like that which made on PV Elite by using 3D pressure vessel design software. Now we will open Autodesk Inventor, after that we will open the 3D pressure vessel design software model and from the 3D pressure vessel design dialog box we will go to general vessel data and from here we can select the position of the uh, vessel if, if it's horizontal or a vertical we will enter the inside diameter the 10 to 10 lens we will activate the first head and open the dialog box of this head we can select the different types from here and from user defined crown and neck radius if uh, we select it we can enter user uh, uh, parameters uh, we will open the dialog box of the first course we will enter the lens thickness and the uh, welding line orientation the second course although we will insert the lens and from here we will find the seam to seam uh, value and the calculated value are typical uh, now we will activate the left head open the dialog box if we want to change any parameters of there after that we will activate the nameplate we will open the dialog box of nameplate and from here we will select special bracket and we will add a client bracket client nameplate and we can uh, enter the values uh, of uh, bracket dimensions now we will add uh, lifting lock type 1 we will activate it from here open the window From wear plate data we can activate or deactivate the wear plate and enter the dimensions of the wear plate. We will change the dimension A according to drawing. Dimension D. The height of the lifting hole to the uh, wear plate outside surface. We will change the thickness of the lifting lock and we will change the other dimensions now we will change the location of the first lifting lock and we can though enter uh, our orientation this option we can use it in a vertical vessel if we need uh, two lifting lugs in a circumferential direction and different lifting angles. We will enter the spacing between uh, two lifting lugs like that. It comes over the same line. We will change it. It's okay. It seems good. Now we will go to the general visual data and we will uh, make a section to see the inside of the visual and we will add a liquid inside the visual. We will activate the liquid. After that we will inside the liquid level. We will add this value Done. after that we will add uh, supporting saddles let's open the 3d pressure visual design window we will activate the first uh, saddle uh, this window tell us the minimum height of this saddle um, mustn't be uh, less than that value 
we will go to inside the uh, saddle level of detail now we have different types uh, two different types of the support saddle we will open the window if we select type 1 like that uh, we will make update to update the parameters and dimensions like that or type 2 which have uh, outside drips like that we will make update the dimensions we could make it without straight sides we can see here the sides are straight now we will make it uh, without straight sides now we will enter the uh, width value according to drawing dimension D like that and we will change the whole dimensions spacing, number, all of that and we could change the number of rips and spacing of rips from this group we will change the spacing between rips like that and make a date now we will go back to the assembly and open 3D pressure vessel design dialog box and from supports and attachments we will activate the second saddle after activating we can make the uh, two saddles are the same by check this checkbox symmetric we will change the location of the uh, right saddle we will make them are typical it seems good we will change the location of the first saddle we will adjust it we will open the 3D pressure of the design dialog box and from support and attachment tab we will change the location of the first saddle and the location of the other saddle Now we will add stippling rings. We have internal and external rings. We will add an external ring. We will uh, define the location. And we will go to inside this uh, stippling ring and select the type of it if it's uh, an angle or a C channel or I pin or flip angle or, or uh, double flipped angle and enter the dimensions uh, of the type in the right hand we'll make it type in okay now we will go to uh, uh, support and attachment and we will add a uh, rectangular pad from this window we can change the lens with thickness location orientation uh, and uh, fillet of edges round fillets I mean okay now we will add a manhole 
for the left head. We will activate it. We will go to inside this manhole. We will open the manhole dialog box. And from this window we can uh, select the uh, orientation, uh, offset, location, if it uh, sit in or sit on. Now we will change the offset dimension uh, at angle uh, zero. We will uh, we can select the size, flange facing, and from here we can uh, change the rating of the flange. Uh, we can see other options, and we can make the David left opening or right opening. Now we will go back to the pressure vessel simply. We will add some nozzles to the right head. We will open the dialog box and go to nozzles. Uh, right head nozzles. We will activate the first one. We will go to inside the nozzle data and we will open the dialog box of this nozzle. Make it offset with uh, 600 millimeters. We will change the size to 6 inches with ring joint uh, facing. Okay, and uh, if we select the standard discredible, uh, uh, which uh, if we select this checkbox, uh, the uh, pipe will uh, take its thickness from uh, skidable. And if we don't select it, we can uh, enter uh, the value of the thickness that we need. We will make it forged up. We can uh, enter the hub height, the hub thickness, and we can select also between uh, two types of bevel angle, 30 degrees or 40 degrees, like that. We will sell, uh, change the height. Okay. We will go back to the simply again and we will open the dialog box to add another nozzle. We will go to inside of this nozzle to change it. We will open the dialog box. We will make it an offset. At one ninety degree, with offset dimension four hundred millimeters, we will change the size to twelve inches, and we will add insert pad. Now this insert pad uh, takes the same head dimensions but uh, with another thickness. We uh, could use it in case of high stresses uh, on the head. So uh, we could use a different piece uh, of head with another thickness like that. Now we will add uh, a put to the uh, shell course we will open that window and deactivate the boot we will enter inside that and open the dialog box and we will change the location of the boot the boot the projection 
and that from here we will select the size. We have large uh, different sizes. We will select 24. And we have the same options of the nozzle forged hub, uh, insert pad, or uh, support pad, uh, reinforcing pad. Uh, we can change the bottom head nozzle like that. We will go back to the vessel. We will add a manhole for the shell course. Open 3D pressure vessel design window and we will activate that manhole. Okay. The manhole David uh, change its uh, shape according to the location of the nozzle. Now we will go inside the nozzle and open the dialog box, that one. We will find uh, uh, here, we could make it a helicide, change the size and the orientation. We have different uh, angles. The first angle in the horizontal position is zero angle or uh, 90 degrees, like that. And from here we can change, although uh, the orientation, uh, the direction of opening, if it's left or uh, right. We will change the opening direction. We will make it a zero angle at zero angle. So here we can see the David uh, shape uh, change it like that. And we can change the uh, angle of opening of the David, the angle of the David from here. Thank you for your time and please contact us uh, at this mail written below. Ahmed Higazi.